Growing up, I had a really hard time acknowledging that I wasn't the one in control. Oftentimes, I was upset and frustrated because there were things going on around me that were so challenging to bear. And it didn't matter how hard I tried, it didn't matter how firm my grasp was on the control in my life, it didn't give me peace of mind. When I did go to church, I would go with my mom or my aunts, and I just knew that in this place there was an abundance of love. No matter what else was going on in my life, I felt safe to come cry there. There were times that I just sat in church with my aunt silently weeping, and I didn't know why as a kid. When I was 20 years old, I had reached what I would have considered the absolute end of myself. I had experienced a lot of trauma that I'd carried with me and let it harden my heart to a point of being overwhelmed by my pain and unsure of what to do and how to heal, escape the traumatic feeling that I keep reliving every day. I was working myself so hard to try to prove that I still had value to myself, to the people around me. I really wanted to feel successful or be successful, but I couldn't escape these emotions. I couldn't escape the feeling that I got inside my body. Maybe I just need to work harder. I was working hard enough. I had two jobs. I was going to school full time. I was very busy, but that was kind of the problem. By the grace of God, I found myself in an environment at work where my coworkers, noticing that I was not having a good time, invited me to church. I just knew that there was nowhere else that I could turn except for back to the first place that I felt peace. The one Sunday that I had gotten off happened to be a sermon that I will never forget. The pastor said that oftentimes we don't lead ourselves down the wrong path because we want to take the wrong path, but because we make ourselves so busy and so distracted that we lose sight of what our path is and who created that path for us. And I had sat there with that conviction. I had a God who was waiting for me to hand it over to him willingly. I felt like, like I was Jacob in Genesis, realizing that I had woken up and God had been in this room with me the entire time because it couldn't have been by any of my own means that I had gotten through any of that to the point where I am today. I realized this needs to be a way bigger priority in my life. And if I want this peace that I feel right now in church, I needed to allow the one who was in control to do his work in my life. After that moment, I quit my second job and finally realized I need to give away some of the things that I thought were helping me or making me better. I started to notice more relationships in my life flourishing in faith, and thankfully it led me to New Story Church. Although my life is not less challenging, and I still have PTSD and I still continue to feel the symptoms of my depression or my anxiety. I don't need to escape my circumstances in order to feel stable. I don't have to know what's gonna come next. Knowing that now I'm not the one in control gives me so much more peace. It doesn't mean that I don't experience pain, but it means that I can experience it with Him and that in my suffering, He will meet me whether it was my second job that I was overworking myself tirelessly with, or whether it was a broken relationship in my life, I know that I can give it to God and lay it before Him. It's like something that I've never put into an articulate word before, but His goodness is so real. Ah, uh, that is not a good, like, cliche, but it's obvious.